Hi everyone. Uh, lately, I got a question from a friend who asked how can he use if formula to get true or false or false based on cell color. And uh, well, I tried different things and I said to him that it's not possible. If formula does not have the option to determine the cell value. And then I decided to create um, an add-on uh, that would allow us to create, to turn true or false based on cell color. So um, this add-on is, uh, is added to the Excel file, so we will not go through the installation process, but I will show you what it can do. So uh, the Saturn has created four form formulas for, for us. The first is, is yellow. It will turn true or false based on cell value for standard yellow color. Standard yellow means, means that here it is, and standard red is here. So true. If we turn this into orange, it will say false. Any other color than standard yellow will be treated as false. Then uh, for red, standard red is red and true. It does work. If we put gray, it will say it's false. And then for green, which is uh, green on the scale, uh, on the special Excel scale, it has code uh, that red is zero, green is 255, maximum value for the green for any color, and blue is zero. So for this is green, and uh, is green, right? And it's also true, and for lastly, for last uh, blue, true so formulas are here color references here results are here how can it be used well uh, it's up to your imagination the main thing that it can be used for can be used for saving you lots of time hours and hours of work and I will demonstrate shortly in this short example how it can save us time here where we have table huge pivot table uh, 2000 something um, rows where we have invoices that are associated with sales of particular manufacturer Manif uh, the problem is that when the pivot table is too big then we are uh, we are lost. We don't see uh, what manufacturer the particular the particular sales invoice number is associated with. For example, now we have a new manufacturer, but if we go down, we have again no clue what manufacturer we are we are dealing with. So. Uh, the easy formula to um, address this issue would be if plus our new formula is red. So if the cell color in B column is red, then we have a true. And we see that it does not work in the case where the cell color is not red. And, and, uh, because we have, um, we can add additional logic that if it's true that the cell is red, let it be, let the name of the cell in A7 be the name of the cell B7. 
However, if it's not true, then let's take the name of the previous manufacturer that is actually uh, shown in the previous in the up, upper cell of A column of A6 in this case. So now if we drag this formula down, we see that now we see the real manufacturer right next to the sales invoice. G, A, etc. So this is one of the many, many possible uses of this um, colors add-on that allows us to use is yellow, is red, is green, is blue formulas. Thank you for the listening, for seeing this video. Please, if you like the video, please put press like, hit subscribe button, and we'll be adding more of educational and useful Excel videos. Thank you.